What's up, everybody? This is Crypto Muscle. This is coming to you with another YouTube video. And so here we are, International Now Worldwide Syndicated. This is where it's at. The Crypto Muscle on the Crypto Muscle Network. And so Sundays is the day I like, you know, it's the beginning of the whole new week, right? But at the same time, I like using Sundays as just more of a informational kind of day and a day where you know i like to do some cleaning up and all that too some douching you know uh of the list of platforms and all that stuff so that's what it is it's a day of uh just talk and douching right so here it is let's talk about stable dow all right so you know i've, I've been kind of watching this stable dow thing it, it just barely launched a few days ago right i think earlier this week or earlier last week, since today is Sunday, and the thing about Stable Dow is, uh, especially when I started hearing about it, and you know who's behind Stable Dow, right? It's the Sam Lee dude from Hyper Fun, Hyper Tech, whatever. And what really drew my ire <laughs> and fire was when it was said that, you know. <laughs> Oh, I did some research, and uh, oh, I found out that Sam Lee was the CEO, or whatever, for uh, Stable Dow, and you know, and come to find, and you know, when and when I saw that it was Sam Lee, the CEO, oh, I I knew he was legit, and I was like, whoa, legit. <laughs> All right, wait, wait a second here. So I was just like, Err! stop the brakes, you know, or you know, step on the brakes here. All right, I can't believe I heard the words coming out of that mouth saying Sam Lee's legit. Oh, yeah, and all these other people that's with him, legit. I'm just like, whoa. All right, now, now. All right, so that already started, you know, having me go in a different direction here and be like, oh, wait a second. You're saying legit? Uh, I'm going to go the other way, right? And so, uh, and then with this, though, I mean, to me, there's lots of oddities with this thing. Let me refresh this, right, because there's a pop. -up. There it is, right? This stable Dow pre-launch, right? They're trying to incentivize you and to try to bring you in with this, oh, $100 for a registration, right? From, uh, and then you could activate your account on the first. And oh, and every person you bring in under that is $10, right? But the thing about it is, is one, Sam Lee is not legit, all right? Uh, two, this, if you really read into it, you got to do a KYC. So why would you want to give up your ID, your whatever it is that you want to give up where you live, <laughs> right? Because ask for your license or whatever. Why would you want to give that up to a company that's not a company? I mean, yeah, it's a platform. Yeah, I, that's cool, I guess. I like platforms, but not when they ask for my ID. No, <laughs> that's not how we play crypto here. And to say Sam Lee's legit, oh, wait a second, uh, I don't know where you think Sam Lee's legit from, um, what, because he had Hyperfun and Hyperverse, which, uh, Hyperfun was, I've, I've played with better platforms, I mean, Hyperfun was, just, was just bullshit, uh, with moving around, pushing around the token and conversions and all that stuff, and then Hyperverse was just an extension of a dying platform, which was Hyperfun. Right, and Hyperverse was just an extension of that that didn't really go nowhere. It died. That died quick. That was that was a that, that was such a dead. It was like beating a dead horse, right? And so you know, it's on to the new one, right? But to say Sam Lee's legit, I, I don't know. That's just I I can't, I can't agree with that. I mean, I, I don't know if you want to say agree to disagree, but no, no, actually, no. I I can't agree with that. So. And then $10, that's just to kind of push the YouTubers, like, Marcus Scale is an asshole, is, you know, type of thing, to uh, push, right? Because, oh, man, all he's seeing is $100. Oh, shit, I'm going to get $100. And, oh, man, I'm going to keep pushing this out to a ton of people. Man, $10 each person, I'll be making $100,000, whatever, right? So that's what happens. And you have this, right? And now they're partnered with Citibank? Really? Wow. You know, it's like, holy shit. Come on. I, this is hard to believe, too, all right? I mean, like I said, I, I play around with platforms all the time, hypes, 
you know, you, you know, whatever you want to call it, all these different ones, right? To to say that it, it's hard to believe that they'll be with Citibank. I mean, Citibank is a name, right? And you know, we've been fooled around before, right? With say like, um, what's that other one I messed around with? Um, they they said that they were with the brokerage firm, right? So you know, we all go and and sometimes. When you dig and you do some research and the connections are there, it's like, wow, you know, there may be something here, right? So that's what we found before, or we thought, with uh, when I was in that coin, coin, uh, coin Global, right? When they were talking about how they were connected to uh, that, more, that brokerage firm. And it felt legit because when you took the extra steps, it was like, they did pretty good in uh, covering their tracks. And... Um, it's just, uh, as you dig deeper and deeper and deeper, then, it, you know, you started to see the kinks in the armor and and uh, cracks and all that stuff. You're like, oh, okay, okay. Now now you're starting to see it unravel, right? That's what that coin global one that I was in. Um, but, man, it felt real, right? And so, yeah, uh, to say uh, Stanley's legit, nah, come on, dude. He... he He's a real guy, yes, but the, the things that he's done, I mean, it, it's it's no secret what he's done. I'm still surprised he's throwing his name out there because he could, he's easily tarnishing his name for something new here. But uh, so with all that rolled up together, I said, no, it's a stable DAO, all right, because, oh, man, it's a, it's a paradise of, I could just share the links, right, and, and it's collect those $10 and all that, right, because they're trying to incentivize you to say, oh, you signed up, you get a free $100, but no, nah, I'm not going to mess with this one, I don't know, maybe fake CEOs are better, I don't know, uh, I'm going to move on, so that's the stable DAO, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to pass that, Here's Novatech, all right? So recent news on Novatech popped up a couple of days ago. Uh, we, we are noticing a growing number of issues arising concerning USET cash out requests. We approve and send them. They are shown as sent, but they are being rejected on the blockchain. This is most likely due to the payment processor being unable to process or the exchange receiving the funds is rejecting the deposit. We have brought this issue up with coin payments who has attempted to whitelist exchanges in order to avoid further issue, but it still seems to be randomly occurring. If you're currently having USDT wallet registered for withdrawals and have a request shown as sent, blah, 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 right? Uh, we recommend updating your wallet address to another coin currently available for cash outs. Huh, it's odd, huh? Uh, we found out that the amount of time it takes to process e-wallet funding, uh, let's see, to use your wallets every weekend is drastically reduced. If we take the site offline while processing. So, I don't know. They seem like, you know, see, as a result, you'll see a message like, uh, let's see, uh, attempting to access the site while funding is in progress. Uh, it'll take one hour to complete. Uh, we apologize for the inconvenience. So, two inconveniences that occurred in the last two days. I don't know. It's just kind of odd that. You know, all this time. I mean, it's been running like a you know, well-oiled machine for the longest time. And this is another KYC company that you got to give up your information to. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Sorry. I'm not a company platform. All right. There's a difference when you do it to an exchange or a platform. Right. There's big differences. Novatech, sorry. Uh... If anything, I'm three years too late. That could be a thing to say. Or, because uh, they started in 2019. Or I could say that I don't want to give up my KYC. So those are two big gimmies here with Novatech. But could this mean that that's, you know, you know, yet another kink in the armor, right? Not kink, uh, you know, gashes and cracks in the armor, right? Could this be... Right, I mean that's that's two more, you know, slashes to the armor here. Is it is it starting to crack right now, right? Because uh, you know to go offline to do it now. I mean, never been an issue before, but all of a sudden it is, and now with uh, this whole thing with USDT, not even able to cash out USDT. Wow, that's kind of odd too. 
kind of weird. I, I haven't seen that issue anywhere else. I've seen issues with perfect money, but USDT, perfect money, that's uh, like apples and oranges here, right? So, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's just Novatech, like I said, three years too late, you know, uh, and no KYC. Sorry, I'm not going to do KYC, but that that's just the latest on that one. Could be something to come. You never know. Just saying. And so, uh, other than that, let's do some, a uh, little bit of cleaning up here. All right. Um, Pandora Pay. I never really talked about it. I, I, this is something I looked at offline. Uh, you know, not offline, but off YouTube. And, uh, I, I was playing around with it a little bit. I was like, eh, I'm not going to bring it up. So I didn't. But, I uh, just wanted to make note of that for those of you that might have seen me maybe chat about it or show it in the telegram group, but I was like, eh, I'm not going to do that. And then, so yeah, so no more to Pandora Bay. Uh, Quidex, uh, you guys saw what happened the other day. Um, you see my balance, it grew, look at that, $14,000, holy shit. But, uh, so, yeah, the other day we saw what was going on. Uh, so, so I started to look around to see if there was any chatter about it. And, um, you know, I come to find out that someone took out 150 bucks, right, from a person that had was kind of like me, right? He had an inflated value, and but on a smaller scale because his deposit was smaller, and so with that inflated value from his smaller deposit, he said, "Oh shit, 150, boom!" He tried to get it and got it, right? So they ended up nipping this right now, oh, and not really in the bud, but they kind of just cut off and siphon it off right there after that 150 pullout and um, I don't know if there's a fix for this or not because like I said my $1,500 didn't come out I wasn't expecting it but you know $14,000 now that it's grown to right and uh, oh yeah man I can't wait to get it out <laughs> all right but you know we know the name of the game right when it comes to playing around with high yield platforms and uh, actually I like liking this to a mid-level but didn't pan out that way. Uh, yeah, so Quidex just has uh, some sort of uh, issues there. Uh, we'll just let that be. And uh, let me see. There was one other one that I was debating on. I probably won't bring it up anymore. Or I, I just won't bring it up at all, but I just wanted to mention it. Because some of you might have seen the name and stuff like that. But I haven't really talked about it. And I can't really find it. Where is it at? Might be on another page here. So here's Prime's field, right? Um, I was debating on bringing this on or not, and uh, I don't know. I just, I just haven't yet, and I don't know if I will ever. <laughs> so this is just something that people might have seen, or I might have, you know, chatted about again in my Telegram group, but I never really put it out there on YouTube till now, but. There's something here. This prime field. I don't know if I'm gonna bring this online, but I just wanted to mention it just in case people, you know, start seeing things, asking things, or whatever. But I never really talked about it because I've been asked. Uh, so that's that. Just wanted to mention that as part of my cleanup crew today. Uh, boom! Right. Yeah, took that out. Um, Pan Pandora, Pandora Pay. Eh, I'm not gonna bring it up. And so that leads me to, uh, like I said, the Novatech news, which I thought, hmm, I don't know. Could be something to come in. You know, it could be, could be. Just saying. Be very careful. Be very, very careful. Oh, yeah, and by the way, since we're talking about FX, uh, that Tech Trades uh, FX platform, not a word from them. <laughs> They're trash, anyways. And Stable Dow. They're trying to lure you in with, uh, oh, man, you get a free $100. Yeah, go ahead. Give up your KYC. Go Give them your ID and tell them where you live and all that stuff. Uh, you guys could do that. I'm not doing that. And because, and then they're going to try to get you with, oh, man, you share this thing. Get $10 for every person. Ah, no, nah, I'm not going to do all that stuff. So Stable Dow and Sam Lee is not legit. <laughs> legit in making money but from uh, everybody else, but no, not legit. So that's the latest update. Comment down below. 
Let me know what you think about all that. I'll see you in the next one.